been expanded and now uh, we're going to bend it. Let's slide it up there. We have a, a protective sheet on the bottom to protect the fins. And then we'll be placing another protective sheet in the middle and then one on the top. So go ahead and pull that, that through to the other side there. Now we need to measure 18 and 3 quarters inches from here. And Chris, hold this up perpendicular to that. And so it needs to be. Yeah, and, and see if you can't get it up close to the coil here. Okay. So I need to push this a lot your way. It's coming your way. Now we're squaring it up. We can do it on this side too. Up against the... Okay. Now we put a, uh, this is called a slip sheet. We're going to insert it between the two rows to protect the fins. Yep. our sheets in there and then we also put one on the top so now we've got our coil in here it's squared up and it's measured off the, the front of the bend radius and the, uh, the next step is to clamp the coil into the machine. Uh, this machine is capable of making L-type bends and U-type bends. Uh, we currently have the tooling set up to make a two-row coil. We can also bend the single-row coils and three-row coils as well. So now back to the example here. go down now the coil is secure in the machine and I've got this program to bend at 90 degrees so it's automatically bending the coil as you can see the slip sheets did their job and protected the fins and now it will return back come over here stand back um, now that it's bent let me do uh, hold on to this and I'll, I'll lift it up and we don't want the coil to fall back so hold on to that now we're going to release the coil and there you have it it's 90 degrees bent coil. Pull this sheet out. And it's flat up here at the top. So 
So here's our coil. We got it. It's a bent coil. This is a two row. So now that matches our drawing with our 90 degree bends. This is called a L-type coil. 